What's up guys? You remember this video where I told you I would show you how to get rid of these different parasites and stuff? Well, I changed myself. Now I got some. So I was just sitting here at the 100 gallon, looking at it, wondering what I'm going to do with the aquascape, because to be honest with you, I hate this. I don't know, it just doesn't look good to me. I mean, I know it looks really dirty to you guys, I got a bunch of algae on the back glass, like the back panel and on the side panels, but I keep it all off the front. But that's exactly when I noticed that right here was a hydra. Alright, I just want to apologize guys, couldn't get the camera to stay focused, but I took this screenshot out of the film, and now we're going to move over to my super high tech microscope, and we're going to show you what this thing looks like up close. Over here at the super high tech microscope, you have the foot of the hydra, the body of the hydra, which is the stomach, and you have a bunch of little tentacles that have stingers on the end. As for some ways to kill the hydra, you could take all the fish out. Bring your water to 104 degrees for three hours. You can put things in the aquarium that eat it, such as plecos, algae eaters, pond snails, and grommies. Or you can medicate. We're using Panic here, horse and cattle. They also make it for dogs. As long as it has fembendazole in it, it will work. When using horse and cattle, it's one milliliter per 10 gallons, so we get 10 milliliters. Right now I'm using a 3 milliliter syringe, so I'm going to need to add 3 of these plus 1. I'm probably just going to do the 3. You want to add this in a place where the filter is going to stir it around, mixing well. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. It's what it looked like a little while after, once it was all mixed in. It will clear up a little bit over some time. Let's see what it looks like in about an hour. Alright, it's an hour later, you see it's cleared up a lot, but we're going to let this sit overnight and water change tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day, let's check this thing out. I can't believe how clear it is. Look at that. Yesterday this thing looked like a glass of 2% milk. Alright, now let's do a water change. Here we're going to be doing a 50% water change. Time to wait. Fill her up. Make sure the temperature is good. Continue filling. The fish are doing alright. Just swimming around, hanging out. Alright, it's the next day. Looks great. No worms. No Hydra, that's all you gotta do, and you can get rid of yours if you have the same issue. At this point, if you still see any signs of the Planaria or the Hydra, you would want to redose, wait 24 hours, and then water change again, and do as needed. But we got lucky, and we have none. See you guys in the next video.